guys, it's Katie Brennan here from the Richmond Tigers. Welcome to another NAB AFL Auskick session from home, where I'm going to teach you how to kick a footy, but also, more importantly, how to kick some goals. All right, guys, let's get into our first quarter. So we're going to start with our warm-up. We've got skipping here, and then we're going to go into star jumps, and then we've got some mountain climbers. So let's get into it. We're going to start off with as many skips as you can in 30 seconds. So if you don't have a skipping rope, you can just do some jumping up and down on the spot. But if you have that skipping rope, let's try and go for whole 30 seconds if you can. And mistakes are good. 10 seconds. Oh. <laughs> awesome guys, all right. So we're gonna get into our star jumps. Here we go, arms up. 30 seconds of these as well. Good job. And our mountain climbers to finish. And cycling those legs through. You want those hands just underneath your shoulders. Good job, guys. All right, so I'm gonna break it down for you. Step number one, we've got a space fan here on the ball. So where we pump the ball up, that's our little space fan. We always want him facing wherever we want to kick. So that'll mean that the laces are facing our partner or wherever you wanna kick if it's kicking for goal as well. So step one is making sure that ball is in position and we're gonna place it over our kicking leg. So if you're right footed, it's just slightly to the right. If you're left footed, it's slightly to the left. So that's step number one and that's our positioning. Step number two will be getting into a balance phase. So making sure that we've got one leg nice and strong. We've got a balanced arm out here and we're able to drop that ball right onto our foot. So when we drop it here on our laces, in this spot on the ball, the ball's gonna spin backwards like a big drop punt, like Taylor Harris does when she kicks goals. So step three is we're balanced, we're in position, we're ready to kick, and all we need to do is swing that leg through and make contact with the ball. So a really big follow through, nice and balanced, and really try and punch the ball to where you're going. So guys, let's move on to goal kicking and my personal favorite. So when we are kicking for goal, what we wanna do is make sure that we've got a little routine that we can follow every single time. So I know for me, I like to spin the ball a few times as I'm walking in and really make sure that I'm following through and kicking through that ball. So that's step number two, making sure we're really kicking through the ball. And what will help you do that is picking a spot behind those goals and trying to kick through the goals. So step number one is using your routine. Step number two is really following through that ball. And step number three is picking a spot behind the goals to kick to. So I know for me, I like to kick beyond the goals and try and hit someone in the crowd or a sign behind those goals. But for you, it might be mum or dad behind the goals or even the goal umpire. All right guys, let's get into our third quarter. So what we're gonna do is put everything we've learned into practice and play kick the stick. So this is my big stick. I'm gonna see how many times in 60 seconds I can hit the stick or hit the tree. You can use whatever you have at home. So it could be a tree, it could be a broomstick, a washing line, whatever you have. Let's do it guys. All right guys, let's get into the fun stuff. So these are my imaginary goals back here. Our challenge is seeing how many goals we can kick with 10 kicks. Let's do it. nine goals one, so 55 points. 
how many can you get? And remember, it doesn't count unless you celebrate. Here we go, welcome to our fourth quarter. Let's get into a cool down. So we're just gonna start off with a big stretch through that hip. We've been doing lots of kicking. So it's really good to always stretch and make sure we warm down properly. Good, number two. Get into another leg stretch. Nice and balanced. Good, we'll do both sides. And our last one, just stretching the inside of our leg. You wanna hold these stretches for about 15 seconds. And as always, you can have a footy in your hands as well to get some touches while we're warming down. All right guys, that's our four quarters for today. I've had heaps of fun, I hope you have too. Make sure you keep checking back in for all of our NAB AFL Kick sessions at home.